Hey friends, welcome or welcome back. Yesterday we got our first good sized snow. which means we need to bring all the animals up to the barnyard for winter. So today we are going to be moving the cows, which normally goes pretty crazy and it's definitely a process. So I'm hoping that it goes smoothly this time and that it doesn't take forever. We're also gonna be bringing a round bale of hay down to the horses so that we don't need to move them for another couple weeks to the barnyard. Then I think we're gonna be moving the goats into the barn for the winter. If you guys are excited to watch this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Let's go. Dad isn't home right now, he is at Menards right now. But apparently I need to get to work already because the horses are on the wrong side of the fence, so I need to get them back. Girl, you're in the wrong pen. What are you doing? We gotta get you back. I have a plan. I don't think I can get the horses back while I'm carrying a bunch of hay. So I'm gonna get them back over the fence with grain, hopefully figure out how they got out, and then give them some hay so that they stay where they're supposed to be. Oh, I see where they got over. The hot wire fell over there. Okay, I got their treats. Now we have to walk them back over the fence where it fell and then I'll have to pick it back up. Here's Selena, here's Spots, here girls. Hi. You guys are so naughty. What are you doing over here? Come on. It's right there, just walk right over. How did they do that? You can see where it's up. And where it fell, you stinkers. She's smart. She knows what I'm up to. <laughs> she wants to stay there. Girl, come here. Okay. And we're back. No, 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 no. No, you stay over here. Stay over here. Okay, let me set this up, don't follow me. Okay, I've got it somewhat put back up. If they're smart enough, they should not go back over it. I don't know how it fell in the first place. Look at this. <laughs> I don't have anything else for them and they, they want it. <laughs> they want it. America can actually slip right under this fence. She's been doing it all year. So if you ever see her over here, that's because she can literally go anywhere in this whole entire pasture. This dog, these dogs look pure white in the summer, but in the winter, nothing's whiter than the snow. So now she looks yellow. Maui, you're so yellow. Look at you. You're a yellow dog. Oh, hi, big stretch. Oh. It just started sleeting a little bit, so I'm gonna go back inside until dad gets back and we have to start moving cows. Okay, it's about one o'clock. We just came out to get started on all the projects. I'm watering the horses right now while dad gets the tractor ready. We have a lot to get done today. I don't think we're gonna be inside till pretty late tonight. So let's hope we get it all done and it goes smoothly because normally we have a bunch of setbacks on days like these. Luckily, it's not very cold out today. It's about 40 degrees, which is actually really good for this time of year here in Iowa. Dad and I took some time to stack up some wood quick because we have a wood burning fireplace in our house and we needed to have some stored in the garage so that we can have wood when we make our fires in the evening. Okay, we stacked and moved all the wood that we needed to. I think the next step is to put a round bale of hay in the horse pen. Okay, we're at the bottom of the pasture right now. This is where the hay bales are. So we're gonna take the hay bale and bring it up to the horse area. Okay. 
spots. She just slowly laid back. So cute. Dogs and goats are being moved right now. Good girl. Go on. She came in there? Yeah. yeah, she's right here. Ow. Well, keep her separate. Get her back with mom. Here, go, go, goats. Come on. Here, go, go, goats. They're everywhere. Come on, goats. Let's go. Come on. There we go. What are you doing up there? <sighs> How are you gonna get down? Okay, so the goats and the dogs are moved. We're kind of rotating everything. So Maui and Jasmine are in this area now with the goats that were over there. And Belle and Moana and the baby goats are going back over there. We have three little bucklings that are gonna stay over there. You are so cute. You look like a little red panda. Okay, we needed all of the animals out of this barnyard area. This guy is still in here because his friends are gonna be back in here in a minute. What? I know. You'll see him in a minute. <laughs> so we're going to take the tractor through this area and into the cow pen to put a big hay bale in the cow pen. And then we're gonna bring the cows up, I think. I'm going to give you guys a quick look at our barn setup right now. We have a really good sized shelter for the cows in the winter. They will definitely all fit in there and then a really good sized yard for them to get all their energy out. We also of course had to fill up their water trough. Okay, it's time. We are about to move the cows. So here's the plan. We have about six cows. They're all in the back pasture down around the corner and the barnyard is way over there around that corner. So we need to get the cows somehow from all the way down there to all the way up there into that back barnyard paddock. So our plan is to run a hot wire fence all the way down on that side and then we have this fence on this side and we're gonna walk them right up and I will have grain and hopefully they'll follow the grain. But we need to be careful because they tend to get feisty sometimes and the bull is in with them too. We always have to be very careful but hopefully our plan goes well and as planned. Hi, Gertie girl. Hi. 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 You ready? Let's go. Come on. The babies don't know what to do. Gotta help them out. Come on, cows. They just want the grass. Oh. oh no. Come on, babies. Coming. <laughs> Hi, Rosie. Gertie, come here. Good girl. Good, good girl. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Long ways to go. America! 
her and Bonnie are friends. <laughs> this is so much fun. We're getting close. Okay, that was literally so much fun and it went so smoothly and went so well. We have never done that before and it went so well. But basically, by the time dad got up to the barnyard, the cows were already in their pen and the gates were already shut and they were already eating their hay. So I did a lot of that pretty much by myself. It was a lot of fun and the cows did really well. The reason we had Gertie leading is because she's like the alpha of the whole herd. So if she was moving, all the other cows would follow her. So we just had her follow the grain so that all the other cows would follow her up. And so yeah, now they are situated in their winter area and they're ready for winter. I am in the barn again. I need to fill the goat's hay. The lighting in here is so bad. Okay, that should be good for a couple of days until we have to fill it again. Are you itching yourself? Are you itching yourself? <laughs> Gertie, what are you doing? So itchy. This is our bull, Rocky. He's pretty friendly and he's pretty standoffish, which is good, because we don't need him coming right up to me. He's intimidating. So is Gertie with her horns, but she's really just like a big dog. Where's Gertie's little baby? Oh, there he is. Hi, Betty. Okay, so Gertie's calf from this year is literally so adorable, and I can tell that he wants to be friends with me. He's just kind of afraid, but he's definitely very curious. Gertie, you are just having at it over there. Is that another scratching post? Oh, yeah. I guess there's nothing like that in the field, huh? Once the cows were settled, we went around the field to remove the electric fence that we had set up for the cows in the field, and we saw the most beautiful sunset ever. It was so pretty. Okay, so we got inside a little bit ago. We got in at about 5.30, so we were working outside for about four and a half hours. It was a long time, but it was also a lot of fun and we got a lot of work done. Definitely some parts of it were harder than the others and by the time I got inside, I was literally cold to the bone. And I'm glad that we were able to get all the animals prepared for winter. The horses will be the next to move up, but that won't be as big of a project. We just gotta lead them up. The animals are all happy and cozy in their new pens. So I hope you liked this video and enjoyed watching the animals. Please like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below if you have any questions at all. Love from our farm to your home.